zike ni yondo robozia zalambra soko turianda rabasia maranta brokosia raboni yonto robozia I don't know why you came this morning but if you come for God then it's a good deal mazolo rabani ande rebe zalako salaya ta rabasia rebrokosia rabani yonto robozia Lord let the grace of the fire Lord this is still the decade of the wind and the fire Lord the decade of the wind and fire already 4 years are gone 6 more and counting waiting on us i don't fully grasp it or comprehend it but why is god waiting on us why are we making god wait why is god waiting on us his nearness chicago and those of you around the globe why is god waiting on us why are we making god wait how long will you take how long will i take to say the full yes and i want to know let's all rise to our feet ezekiel chapter 37 <laughs> my little one is looking at me <laughs> before i you ready for today yeah okay I'm still waiting on God. <laughs> I felt the Holy Spirit not I felt I was impressed that this week May 24th, 25th and 26th we'll do 3 days meeting. Um hopefully here in the evenings May 24th is what friday friday evening we'll confirm the timings and everything friday evening saturday evening and sunday morning i just i just felt it is very important timeline that we are living in because a lot of things are happening in the spirit and we haven't confirmed about the place right but monday look for our email look for our communication by monday we should know i want us to seek god like never before these these coming 3 days it is not about performance we'll come and host the presence of god two days evening and sunday morning I'm believing this place is available father thank you for the place is available in Jesus name amen. amen amen let them agree to give it lord okay ezekiel chapter 37 if we can read from the nkjv version verse 1 to verse 7 
prophet, it says, The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O Lord God, you know. Again he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and suddenly a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I thank God for the word. You can be seated. It's nice once in a while to stand up and give reverence to the word. I like it that people on Zoom also took time to stand and read. That is revelation. You're in sync. Okay. Ezekiel, the prophet, is doing something in this chapter. And we are going to visit what he did. The prophet Ezekiel was carried in the spirit to a location. The Bible says, The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. You, if you're looking at your Bible, I want you to really pay attention. Oh, it's on the screen. There are some things that is happening and I believe this is what is supposed to happen in the season we are living in. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me. Do you get it? I don't know if you really got it. We read Bible in a way that we understand English. But not everything English can explain it until somebody takes a moment to explain what it actually means. So the hand of the Lord came upon prophet Ezekiel and the Bible is saying and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord. There was a part of prophet Ezekiel which was pulled out by the hand of the Lord. And when the part of prophet Ezekiel, spirit, when it was pulled out of him, his spirit was taken out in the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord God carried a part of prophet Ezekiel's spirit. Why? Because if he takes the full part of his spirit, he'll be dead man. If anybody tells you, I traveled in the spirit, I fully left my body, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Because if you fully leave the spirit out of your body, it is when Jesus said, into your spirit, into your hands, I give my spirit God. And that was the end. So don't believe all these fake liars, okay? They talk about things they experienced which they did not. They make theologies out of it. Write books out of it. If God 
can take your spirit completely out of your body you're dead <laughs> that is why jesus said into your hands i submit my spirit full so it's not your full spirit leaving your body i'm giving you notes because i heard somebody came and told somebody and that somebody came and told me saying that this person traveled in the spirit they fully left their body i'm like oh really i knew that preacher was lying you can't leave your body fully okay i'm not going into those kind of uh, um teachings it's, and that's not where god is leading me but i'm giving you keys the hand of the lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the lord a part of him and set me down in the midst of the valley in other words god took him to a vision dimension which ezekiel could experience a vision in a dimension where he felt it was reality there are times a vision can come to you and you can go into a vision you getting it there's a vision that you can see and there is a vision you can visit so now prophet ezekiel is operating in another dimension where his spirit is carried into a vision where this vision is no more like seeing pictures on a screen but he's experiencing the vision by being in it there are dimensions of the vision there is a vision that you can see there is a vision you can sense the reality of it and there is a vision that you can touch the reality of it there are angels you can talk to and there are angels you can interact with it is like if an angel is standing here with me there are there are there are moments where i can swing my hand and my hand can pass through it and that's the level in which i am tuned into the invisible realm but there can be another dimension where i can move my hand and collide with the angel because now i'm in his realm and he's in my realm wow. i don't know if you understand what i'm talking because now i have left my reality of the human dimension of earth and i've dialed into the dimension of the spirit in a way where now daniel says i am talking to this angel face to face and i'm feeling what he's saying you will see in the life of daniel in the beginning he begins to say i saw visions in the night then he says i saw visions in the day then he says i began to be in the vision and then he begins to say i was interacting with the vision because now the vision is no more a vision but it is a reality in my life wow. you're very blessed <laughs> what i what what i spoke in the last 5 minutes you go consult many people they won't know what they're saying i'm not prideful but i know what i'm carrying and it doesn't make me arrogant because somebody paid the price and it is the lord jesus and i have men i have i have my spiritual lineage where i receive this grace from and it did not come cheap so i'm not intimidated okay but the reason i am telling and sharing these things is because this what i am talking about can be your reality amen, amen. amen. yeah yeah so so the part of ezekiel's spirit prophet ezekiel spirit set me down in the midst of the valley through the spirit of god and this was a valley it was full of bones everybody say bones one more time look at your neighbor and say you have bones you have flesh you have all those things and i'm very blessed to know that here <laughs> you have bones and that is very good there is something about your bones your bones can hear louder than your ears 
your bones have the capacity to hear god more than your physical ears this is why joseph said when joseph said and it was said to moses when the time of departure comes to the promised land don't leave my bones here in the cursed land because my bones will never live in peace my bones cannot live in peace in the rejected place it has to live in the promised land please give me a oath please promise me this that you will carry my bones into the promised land because i don't want to stay where i do not belong i need to stay in the place where my bones are supposed to live because as long as my bones live there will still hear god yeah, yeah you you are you are you're wondering but i will not stop i'll keep going i've decided that this 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 is the reason why because their bones carry things this is why when they threw a dead man into the tomb of the bones of prophet elisha when he came in contact with there was resurrection still left in his bones because your your you you throw a dead body into a grave the only part that will be left at the end of the story is bones wow. <laughs> nothing else but even that part of the bone that is left is still the property of god wow. Wow. as i'm talking to you today my your bones are hearing me <laughs> not only your spirit your body your flesh your bones are hearing me and guess what it is the bone marrow that produces your dna yeah. it produces your blood line yes. okay. okay and the bible says prophet ezekiel was put in the midst of the valley it was full of bones not dead bodies but he was put in the valley of full of bones there is something that god will do i am not talking to ordinary people today you are still very quiet i am i am not talking to ordinary people i'm talking to people who are of a superior kind and that is you yes. and that is you on zoom and the reason i'm saying this is because i know in the way god is speaking right now wow. he's not speaking to an ordinary set of nobodies he's talking to a somebody Amen. he's talking to a kind of people whom he's looking at and saying this is going to be my remnant within the remnant yeah. you you can be sitting here and thinking i made the choice to come this sunday morning because i had free time i chose this as my church or i wanted to be here forget it you are here by divine assignment and by divine appointment for i know the frequency i carry is not ordinary and it is a rare one and if you are qualified and brought in to hear this frequency that means god has a plan god has an assignment god has an anointing ready for you in this last days you are not going to be a chicken found in the coop of chickens but you are going to be an eagle that is set apart in this generation the limitations of your fathers and your forefathers are ending with you you are the transactor of the next dimension 
I prophesy over you that you are a transaction. You are a transaction for the next dimension. You are the altar that is going to burn with fire. You are going to be the revival seed that is about to receive a revival package, says the Spirit of God. So get out of what is called normal. Get out of what is called ordinary and get into the extraordinary. You are never called to live an ordinary life. I'm, I'm telling you with a hundred percent conviction in my spirit this morning you're not an accident you are a divine appointment and you're sitting in one today remember this what people do not understand their fight and you can learn, you can live a lifetime trying to make people understand who you are. But they'll never get it. Because you are never meant to be understood. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about the revival stream. I'm talking about the prophetic revival stream. I'm not talking about every lay person. I'm not talking about the commoners. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about me. You are never meant to be understood because you are not normal. You, are, you know, li listen, I'm going to tell you something. If you're wanting to live the normal life, if you want to live the ordinary life, you would never be drawn to this stream because this stream, this house will be an offense to you. I know for the fact why the demons of Chicago are not allowing people to come inside here? Because they have a claim on those that cannot step in here. But if you made it through, I congratulate you because you have something inside of you. It's the order of a divine DNA. And your bones are wanting to be in the presence of this location. Maranta Braseco Rionto Robozia. Oh, let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Let him hear who has ears what the Spirit of the Lord God is speaking this morning. You are not an ordinary bone. Yes. You, 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 you are not of an ordinary DNA. You are not of an ordinary bloodline. You are called into something else. Go and ask if any of the revivalists were alive today, go and ask them. Their own upbringing was confusing to them. They stood out. They stood out differently. People did not understand them. People mocked them. People said they are crazy. But the craziness that people thought they were was the qualification that God was looking for. They were not the kind of a normal one. They were the kind of a supernaturally picked out ones. Yes. <sighs> You, you, the, the frequency that your bones are hearing is the frequency your bones will emit. So, Prophet Ezekiel was now taken, a part of him was taken. You got it, right? A part of him was taken and he was, he was in a vision, set in the valley, in a low place, full of bones. And the Bible continues to say something. It was, people on Zoom, you're okay? You're good? Thank you. It was full of bones. Then, verse 2 says, Then he caused me to pass by them all around. I love the word of God. It is so animated. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? 
it is so animated so descriptive it is so detailed he came to the valley of many bones then god begins to take him on a picnic on a sightseeing tour because now god wants to see the tenacity and the way this prophet can function you think it was much about the bones it was also about the bones and prophet ezekiel you're going to learn some things today okay so this is what happens he caused me <clears throat> to pass by them all around so now prophet ezekiel is examining the bones so first and foremost i want you to make peace with it that bones are a state where nothing else is left nothing else can come out of it it's the most dead something can be i i i i often the i don't know i feel the presence of god all of a sudden the the way god functions is he if he has to show himself as god he comes down to the wire where he wants to be seen against all odds he, he he brings it down to the place where there is nothing else humanly possible and that's the condition of bones to the extent where you can expect nothing there cannot be there could not be it is a full stop it's the end of a matter it's the end of a timeline so now the bones have come to that place and it says it was full of bones many many bones many bones so it is like saying there is something in in your life which is so come to an end where it is the full end there is nothing more to look into it it's it's dead end and and this is when then he caused me to pass by them all around like the sight seeing and prophet ezekiel is now looking all around in the valley you need to ask if you are called by god if you want god to do the extra ordinary through your life he has to take you on a trip like this and it might it might not look like the prophetic trip like how we all read you with me i pray that you're with me i'm praying i'm asking god that you are fully with me okay so it is like this god has to take you through the journey of prophet ezekiel in your personal life it is very nice for you and i to sit and read the story of somebody else's dry bone story looks amazing sounds great but what happens if you are called to journey in through like that and in this situation it looks like a vision for prophet ezekiel but what if the journey of your life is you are set on a trajectory where you need to journey through the valley and it is full of dry or oh, dry is next i'll come to it full of many bones everything that you look to that did not happen looks like a bone in your closet it looks like something that is so dead it cannot come back to life it looks so impossible and 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 unyielding nothing is happening and it looks like a bone and now you're crying out to god you're crying out to god god 
do something with my life god please have mercy on me lord jesus holy spirit please help me and then you understand something is going to happen the spirit of god comes upon you you're getting ready for your breakthrough you're getting ready for your outstanding miracle and the next thing you find yourself is in the valley of full of bones and you're wondering what kind of a mistake is this that i prayed and i asked him to take me to the valley sorry <laughs> i prayed and asked him to take me to a graveyard yeah you yeah, know no, you're not talking you're not you're not talking you're just smiling at me you prayed you prayed and then you find yourself in the valley of full of bones and you're saying what kind of a god what kind of a father that i prayed that he will take me to the green pasture and he's taking me into the valley of dry bones hear me today well it is very important today you hear me because he is bringing you to a reality of who he is in you called to be I don't know if anybody is getting this. Prophet Ezekiel, you're praying. Prophet Ezekiel, you're praying and saying, "God, I want to see this kind of glory." And God is like, "Well, I'm going to teach you that glory, but for me to bring you into that place of glory, I need to first bring you to the place of the valley full of bones, just for one reason." for you to know how that glory works how it functions i want to show you my ways because you will never comprehend my ways if i don't show you how i work without you knowing who i am for you and how i need to function through you you will never understand how to be that set apart generation or else you know this this message is so important because men you all of you guys here and those online and those watching me now wherever you are you're watching me i'm talking to you because god has sent me to talk to you today the reason is this it's very it sounds very simple but it is not you will you give me time i need to help you to process this process this you prayed and he said god i want to be found in revival i want to be found picked up set apart anointed marked by the holy ghost and filled with the fire and the anointing of god I just don't want to prophesy I want to be sent as a man and a woman sent by God and I don't want to be an ordinary one and God said then if you want to be in that camp of the remnant within the remnant you cannot belong everywhere you'll have to belong to me and I will have to take you in on my pathway which is out of the ordinary and how do i train you i will want to put you in the valley full of bones and there i will begin my prophetic training on you yeah! i'll tell you something it will be very easy for somebody to prophesy when everything is looking nice green and healthy but tell somebody to prophesy when all they see is bones yeah! it will take a real prophet to prophesy out of the bones into an army yeah! it will take a real man and a woman who knows the heart of god to take a dry bone and turn it into an army it will take a david who will say give me the misfit generation give me the broken uh, give me the discouraged give me the hopeless ones and i will build an army with them because the oil on david is a different kind of oil saya montorobosia so now 
this assignment is not just for the bones it is for the prophet ezekiel now prophet ezekiel is coming in contact he is looking at the bones and and the spirit of god you with me i pray that you'll dial in deeper i want you to keep praying so you'll go deeper in the level in which i'm speaking don't just hear me in english hear me in the spirit so the holy spirit is not showing prophet ezekiel any greenery he like lord jesus bones lord jesus hopeless lord jesus dead end lord jesus graveyard lord jesus valley lord jesus no breakthrough lord jesus and what if that is actually the doing of the holy spirit and you're sitting and saying god you're not talking to me god is talking to you and he's showing you a graveyard and you're saying imagine prophet ezekiel is like have i gone crazy now have i gone crazy the visions i'm seeing when the spirit of god is coming upon me and he should start saying maybe this is not the holy spirit now this is some other spirit but it is the holy spirit that is coming upon him taking him in the spirit and setting him in a valley full of bones hear me hear me hear me hear me hear me because 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 you're not defined by your limitation wow. you're not defined by what you see you're not defined by what even god is giving you as a vision at some point of time because even those visions are for god to start something new inside of you I I'm still getting I'm 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 helping myself in my English to communicate what I am trying to tell you because now prophet Ezekiel cannot get out he set in with an encounter through a vision he set in face to face in this place and the only way he's going to exit is God's way I don't know if everybody is getting this. He set up he set up to be stuck up in this situation by God. And the only way he's going to exit is going to only way he can exit out of this place is by him operating and functioning as the prophet is supposed to be. He's not going to be able to exit out of this by being a common Ezekiel the son of Buzi the priest of this and that he cannot exit that place in that capacity the only way he's going to exit from this vision is if he begins to function in the man of God and the woman of God you're supposed to be this is the divine setup of God you thinking if god is with me why is he answering me like this because he's not just with you he's in you and he wants the god side of him to function through you and he wants the god side of prophet ezekiel to answer to the vision the same holy spirit is showing him i don't know i'm i'm, I'm trying my best I'm trying my best. Lord Jesus give us grace. Listen to this. I'll try going slow. It is the spirit of God, the hand of God carrying prophet Ezekiel into this place and it is God putting him in the valley. It is God putting him in front of this dry bones and now God is waiting on him to function through him. So every time you pray make me a revivalist you have to come across dead situations i'm giving you an answer which has been stuck up in your life for decades today i don't know what you're thinking this morning but everybody who dreamed to be a revivalist here i am sent by god giving you an answer what does it take to be a revivalist you need to know how to turn the dead into the living if you don't know that you will spend decades living in the valley of dry bones but 
if you ask and ponder and seek and pursue God, it is the same God will function in and through you and exit you as a prophet out of the valley and out of the situation of bones. And now, and this, this is so interesting. This is so interesting right now. My God, you know the the you know the what is happening in this atmosphere is very powerful. You know, you might think I'm just talking, but things are happening. And then he caused me to pass by them all around. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and indeed they were very dry. Very what? Dry. No sign of life. Very dry. And he said to me, the thing is, God, the nature of God is like this. He waits to see what you will do when you are the driest. Jesus, 40 days, he fasted. And it was very dry. It was so dry. The Son of God fasted. You know, let, let me let me pull back. Let me say this. When the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus, He didn't take Him to the temple of Jerusalem. He took Him to the desert, to a dry place. This is what separates the wheat from the tares. If you genuinely cry out for God, if you genuinely have encounters with the Holy Spirit, He has to take you to your desert. He has to take you to your dry bone season. He has to take you to be lonely. He has to take you to be rejected. He has to take you to be forsaken. He has to take you to the place where everything looks up against all odds. And you're sitting and saying, God, is this what I asked for? And you're telling, I prayed for revival and I find myself in a desert. I prayed for the Holy Ghost power and I find being tempted. And I find being opposed and tempted by every kind of temptation. God, what am I doing wrong? I prayed for fire anointing. I prayed for anointing to break yokes. I prayed for deliverance. And God, here I am, more tempted than ever before, facing every kind of temptation right in front of me. What is going on? God is waiting. God is waiting because God is waiting to see how can you let go of you? And how can you embrace me in there? This is the reason Jesus overcame the temptation because he never let go of God. Here, now prophet Ezekiel is looking very dry, very dry, very dry bones. And look what happens here. And in that dry season, he still hears God. Don't, do not stop hearing God in your dry season. Many stop hearing God because they were brought into a dry season. This is the reality. I'm giving you a reality check. People pray and when God is bringing them into the place of power through this valley, through the dry bones, through the desert, but they sign out. Because when everything is looking against all odds, now they don't want to hear God, what He actually wants to say. Now they are looking for their situations to talk to them like God. You get it? I'm trying. You're like this desert, this valley, these dry bones. God, where are you? And now you're looking at the desert to talk to you. You're, you're wanting the desert to be the voice of God. You're wanting that situation, that heartbreak, that 
disappointment that impossibility thing standing up before you like a mountain you looking maybe it's a job maybe we are health maybe finances whatever you looking at that and saying will god speak to me through this and god is waiting for you to speak to it because for some the sign of god will be when the desert turns green god is not interested in it let me give you the reality if you are a revivalist this word is for you because if i preach this word for somebody else they will be done now 45 minutes church is not what we we our warm up is 45 minutes you know you know, you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying because people pray and they wait and they sing desert when are you turning bones when are you you know they're waiting for a sign from that but god is giving no signs god is saying don't wait for that to speak to you wait for me to speak to you people pray and they want their situation to turn around then they will think god is doing something but what if god is not waiting for the situation to turn around but they are waiting for you to turn the situation around and god is looking at you to speak to that mountain god is looking at you to speak to the desert god is looking at you to speak to the dry bones but here you are after praying to god oh will the dry bone move if it moves a little when god is still in my favor don't confuse your situation and who is god your situation is not your god one more time your situation is not your god yes you're all acting very holy right now you're all acting very nice right now you know it is not your job that is your god your god doesn't have to talk through your job your god doesn't have to talk through your boss your god doesn't have to talk through your finances your god has to talk to you and you have to talk to them don't confuse that direction the direction starts from him to you and you to them ha shatarabazia that is the calling of a revivalist you throw him in a desert he will turn the desert into a pool of water he won't depend on the desert but his dependency is on god masele kosia lobori yonto robozia so you know this is why you know you you saying where this is coming keep reading you're all there or you gone home you're all still here okay this is what the bible says and he said to me son of man can these bones live so i answered oh lord god you know can i give you some prophetic lessons and he said to me who the holy spirit the spirit of god son of man can these bones live god is asking how will your situation turn out and this prophet is so intelligent he's so in sync with god he doesn't give god his opinion wow that's mic drop he does not give god his opinion stop giving god your opinion i'm going to say this word online and everybody shut up yes stop giving god your human opinions let god speak over you yes because if you allow your humanness to speak you will shut the very mouth of god operating through your mouth yes azata brakasia raboni i don't know you're still sitting as if you're you're on a picnic no 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 you know i i, I you heard what i just said you heard what i said it is better you zip up your mouth and you tell god i don't know you know better don't put words in your words don't put words in your own mouth allow the mouth of god to speak through your mouth hey! Hey! you call it faith you call it whatsoever but i call it this 100% dependency on the voice of god hey! Zalambra sata kasia raboni anta raba 
Zelembro Kozia. Son of man, can these dry bones live? Today God is asking you this morning, oh my daughter, my son, can this thing turn around? You tell him, God, you know the answer. God, you know the outcome. I, I don't even want an outcome according to my outcome. I want an outcome according to your outcome. I want a life that is in you. You are the alpha and the omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the everything in between. I am sold out to this fire. I'm sold out to this God. I am a revival DNA. I shall stand against all odds and see my God come through. Kazembra zeken yonto robozia. I don't know. There is there is a fire that God is dropping on some of you today. A different kind of fire. A fire. You know, listen. In the past, every time the enemy encountered you, you got quenched. But today, God is marking you with a different kind of fire. Every time the enemy comes, you're not going to be quenched anymore. You're going to be find yourself burning more. Hotter, 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 hotter. Your fire is about to increase. It's a different kind of a fire. The wind will not blow it down. The wind will set it ablaze. May the Spirit of God set you ablaze this morning. Open your mouth and pray in the Spirit right now. Oh, can somebody forget your neighbor and pray in the spirit? Tell God, set me on fire like never before. When I say pray in the spirit, pray as if you are on fire. Don't pray like a baby. Oh, don't pray like a toddler. Pray like a man and a woman who's on fire for the Holy Ghost. It is your privilege that your tongue can be set on fire. More God, let release that fire upon everyone here. Not a fire that gets quenched, but a fire that gets ablaze by the wind, by the fire, by the wind of the Holy Ghost. Let them be set ablaze. Somebody's prophetic is going to the next level today. I said, somebody's prophetic is going to the next level today. Somebody's seeing is being upgraded. Somebody's hearing is being upgraded. Somebody's sensing is being upgraded. Somebody is about to be promoted in the spirit. Rate Brasea, open your mouth and cry out to God right now. There is a fire that is locating you this morning. Some sickness that are supposed to leave your body, it has to meet the fire of God in you. People online, people online, I'm telling you, God is releasing a fire inside of you and that fire is the answer for your sickness. It is the answer for your disease. It's the answer for your broken infirmity. That fire is the answer of God. Don't just look for a healing from the outside. Release the fire of God out of my belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Let go and let God in. I'm hearing God say, let go and let me in. Let go and let me in. Is there one service that you can be transformed? I believe so. I believe there are moments like this in God. You'll come in as somebody and you're going out as somebody else. Because you leave your dead bones behind and you go back as an army of the living God. Open your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. Somebody talk to the Lord. Somebody clap. Somebody scream. Somebody jump. Every dream of being on fire for God, let come Come back to you. People of God, even the creation is waiting to see your manifestation. Hey! 
Maronto Brogozia Raboni Anta Rabba Zekeriata Latata Tata Baba Baba Mambra Kasike Nionto Robozia Rabani Anta. I know for the fact this is a revival church. I know for the fact every one of you will prophesy, every one of you will heal the sick, every one of you will deliver people, every one of you are going to be set on fire for God because you are a remnant within the remnant. Holy Ghost fire. I'm telling you, people only dreamed to be in a place like this and you are located by the Spirit of God this morning. Let the God part of you arise today. Kasaya, Erene, Azele, Ratobozia, Eleka, Torobozia, Rakatara, Basante, Meroto, Brokozia. Somebody's bones are responding to the Lord. The fire of God is flowing like electricity in your bones. And this is why Jeremiah said, The fire of God is set up like, set, shut up like fire in my bones. Your bones are receiving a kind of fire. Rabanta Kasete, Eleno Riando. Azele reto brianto, mezeli onto robozia, e remeni onto robozia. Oh, <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I'm hearing somebody's thought. Oh, why does he speak so much in tongues? Because I have more fire and less human words. E rasaka talai onto robozia, e remeni onto robozia. Melento Robo, if you believe it or not, I am just uh, speaking in tongues and speaking the sermon. This is what I do. This is what you will do. You will speak in tongues and you will tell the mysteries of God. Verse 4. Again he said to me, Oh, don't go quiet. It is your day. Again he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. People of God, this verse 4, if you can come to this place with God in your life, oh, that is a place of revival. If, if, by the grace of God, if you can enter verse 4 in your life, every odd is no more an odd. It will be a platform for God to shine through you. It will not be a restriction. It will be the God who is infinite about to show off through you. Look, listen, verse 4 says, Again he said to me, this prophet is so amazing. Prophesy to these bones. What happens when you really hurt God? God is not going to say, I'm going to change your situation. When you really hear God, God is not going to come to you and say, I'm going to change it for you. For him to say, I am going to change it for you is for him to work without you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know, if you're praying and God comes and tells you, I'm going to change the situation for you, that is telling me that He is telling you He's ready to function without you with Him. But if God comes and says, I don't want to change anything for you, but you and I together as a team, we are going to go and change the situation around. That is God functioning in you, with you, and He's partnered with you. You're becoming a friend of of God. Yeah. This is what is the plight of current day Christianity. They're sitting and changing. Oh God changes. Oh God changes. God is like, can you hear me? I'm talking to you. I want to be with you. I want to be in you. I want you to partner with me and then we will talk to this mountain. But people are waiting. God, remove this mountain. God, do this to me. And God is like, I'm waiting on you. And they want the mountain to respond to God. And God is like, I don't want to talk to it without you. I want you with me. Because you and I, you and me, and me and my father, 
and we all together are one there will be no gaps there'll be no distance we are going to become one we are going to be one frequency and when you speak that mountain which does not have ears will hear you <laughs> speak to the mountain can the mountain hear you can the mountain hear you but god is saying when you speak through me that which cannot hear you will hear me yes they might not hear you but they will hear me through you i am a god who speaks through you kasaya matora sekete leonto robozia i don't know this morning somebody somebody's tongues are getting hijacked by god it's time to put an end to negativity it's a time to put an end to pessimism you are going to change your your vocabulary is changing this morning your tongues are being loosed by the power of the holy ghost Kasaya monto robozia ala to robozia elente braziko rokosia harombon de reanda rabakasia maroko father i speak the fire of god to arrest every demonic entity is right now in the mighty name of jesus i release the fire of the holy spirit all across this place arrest and bind every entity which is against the word of the lord la saka sete brasie romoni arete kasia eroto brokosia rabonienta i release the arrows of god to be shot this morning against every demonic forces you are coming down you have no more reign over these people these are the people of god let my people go you are bowing down in the name of jesus I'm talking to the spiritual realm don't worry about me araba salakayanto robozia eremenyonto robozie mazaka taraba the fire of god is falling all across on zoom receive it take it mazeto brozia erete brakas oh my goodness it's falling on some of you take it more fire my goodness take it more 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 zalakasia raboni anto it's on you It's on you. The fire is falling on you. Zalaka zele meyondo robozia. Prophesy to these bones and say to them, "O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord." Sayaka sata ta 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 ta. Oh, it is going to be a moment of heaven opening when God says, "Prophesy." not when you want to prophesy when god says prophesy yeah 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 zaya manta basia raboni anto robozia mezele brokosia raboni anta rabasia zele ratori ondo robozia mezene ondo robozia sometimes nowadays i get scared when god says prophesy because the details i see it's as if like i know every detail behind the closed doors and i get so scary for me that last sunday it was scary you didn't see anything everything was cut out you didn't see i prophesied for almost 2 hours it was so crazy that i was getting scared because because people will think oh my god he consulted somebody he spoke to somebody and came back no but if god says prophesy i'm telling you when you prophesy at the command of the lord that dry bones will live I believe a grace is coming into this room in the mighty name of Jesus you're about to prophesy to your dry bones Something is happening in verse 4 Again he said to me you ready prophesy to these what Come on talk to me prophesy to these and say to them so tell me are you with me don't miss me now can bones hear you you got it right so you know bones can hear question is are you putting them in the location where god is speaking or it is like this 
somebody gets depressed they don't want to be found in the location of the voice of god they want to shut themselves in a room and never come in contact with the voice of god two things are happening prophet ezekiel is learning to speak to prophesy but the other side of the story is the bones also need to hear have you made sure that your dry bones are hearing god are you making sure your dry situations are brought or brought into the presence of the almighty god whether you see a change or no change whether you see a breakthrough or no breakthrough whether you see it happening or not but can you consistently put the dry bone in the midst of a frequency in the midst of a spiritual location can you bring it under a voice which is commanded by god to prophesy over you is one major prophet in india <laughs> yeah it's a major mind run of we don't have to say but this man is traveling across crazy he doesn't even speak in english but he 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 just speaks in a native language but he can prophesy like he, it is it is mysterious you know um you know it is amazing when i met him he's telling he's telling prophesy over me because i'm a good soil his posture he 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 is like not even one word will fall to the ground you prophesy and test if you say this it i will make it happen because i'm a good bone wow. wow the question is is there a prophet ezekiel prophesying over you good but are you a dry bone that can be found in the location and the voice and you're committed enough to hear the voice of this prophet sent by god into your location into your situation into your dryness into your barrenness into your brokenness god is taking him and brought him to you yes that is why i know i've been sent to chicago i'm sent to america i will prophesy but i need a dry bone to hear me but if there is a bone that can hear the word of the lord i know for sure you shall not remain as a dry bone you shall surely turn into an army of god masaya kasata basia meronto broboniento robosia me I'm, i'm too screaming today maybe i got excited in india i'm still screaming let me calm down <clears throat> oh dry bones hear the word of the lord what is the dry bone in your life are you making sure it's hearing god i'm talking to you you got to make sure this is the way god transact you're going deep you're not in a hurry today right please until we have this grace let's enjoy it raboniyanta prasaka tarabasiya my goodness pray in 30 seconds in the spirit everybody on zoom begin to pray <clears throat> come on this is how you become a different breed you push through you push in you usher yourself in you don't stop at the door you get inside you first you knock you open and you push it through and you get inside
Kapasala Boyonto. Oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. There is something about the way God transacts. Hearing me? Tell with me. Say with me. This is how God functions. One more time. Say, this is how God functions. He didn't tell, let me calm down. He didn't tell the dry bone, I will make you an army. He didn't tell the dry bone what he didn't address the dry bone as an army. Stay with me. Don't lose me. He does not tell what he's about to do and they'll tell the dry bone. He didn't tell the dry bone. He didn't address I'm going to make you an army so dry bones now you listen to me. No. One more time. One more time. He did not say I'm going to make you an army so now listen to me dry bones. No. He said oh dry bone now hear me. He wants that thing which is dry and broken to hear God when God has not promised anything yet. Are you with me? Yes. Or you're not? Yes. See the flow of God. He's not telling what is about to happen. He's first addressing you. While everybody sits and waits, tell me what you're going to do. So I'm going to give you my life. God is not interested in that. God is telling, give me what you have left. Let me address what is left of you in me. That I will speak into. Because don't forget, this dry bone is also part of God's creation. That's the only thing that is left. My question is, what is left in your hands which God can speak into? You know what we do? We sit and stop giving God what is left of us. And we just sit and expect Him to do something we are expecting. And in the middle, we miss him. But he is asking you, give me what is left in your hands. Give me what is left of you that is in me. And that is the place, that is the thing I want to address first. Jesus never said, you want to be fishers of men? Then follow me. He said, follow me. First you leave. Then I'll show you what you can become. Don't follow God because of the outcome. Allow God to address you first. This is how God speaks. This is how, that's why he's saying, oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. He's not addressing them as the army is going to make but he wants to address you first. The question is, there is a man speaking, the prophet, but is there a dry bone hearing? You know something? This is a spiritual principle which I cannot get over with. Before God does something, he always speaks. But he wants somebody to hear of that frequency. He wants you to partake of what he's addressing and that part of you should be brought to God. Verse 5 says, Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath 
to enter into you and you shall live thus says the lord god to these bones surely i will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live what is causing the breath to enter into these dry bones come on answer me cuz you hearing one more time what is causing the breath to enter into these dry bones when you hear him you giving him the space to land his breath into your life when you are hearing him you're giving his breath to enter your life that's why jesus said let him hear him who has the ears what the spirit of god is saying is it not true that god has to just think because he's speaking everybody is hearing but i can tell you god can be speaking and people can have physical ears but they never hear god is not going to pursue them because for him they have rejected him they have rejected his breath they have rejected his life yet people come and say give me this breakthrough give me that and god is saying can you have ears to hear me what is the idol in your life that causes you to shut your ears to hear god this is amazing listen there is nothing that should come in your life that should stop you from hearing god i'm not just talking about when i say hearing god people think is prophesy prophecies no i'm talking about even hearing a teaching hearing the word of god that is sent to you when you hear that that word is coming with the breath to touch your dry bones there is something that god is doing with prophet ezekiel he is showing him how to prophesy to something that has nothing and to see how to release the breath of god if we can learn the art of prophesying breath if if somebody can tap in to learn the art of prophesying the breath of god life will enter every dry situation this is the reason when god says prophesy you just don't prophesy words you're prophesying breath of god last sunday there were so many healings that happened i didn't even have to do anything as i was prophesying people were getting healed there was one lady who came out i said so your knee is hurting you she said yes and i said now and she said no it's gone instant 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 because as you're prophesying the breath of god is supposed to enter into your bones today i prophesy may the breath of god enter your dry bones you tell god what is that dry bone put that dry bone at the frequency and the words and the voice so that the breath of god can locate you saya basoko turi ando robozia you know there is something about god this is how god functions you know why god does these things he when when he made adam he blew his breath god made adam and god blew his breath and the bible says adam became a living creation it was the breath of god that landed into adam made him a living creation 
But in other words, I want to tell you, the breath of God left God and it located a human being. Not to just live there. But a part of God started living in that human being. So there is a part of God's breath in you that can prophesy the breath out of you. I don't know if this is the crowd. (laughs) You're all still sitting. If you'll prophesy by the flesh that you are, don't expect anything to happen. But if you prophesy the breath you have received from, I don't... If you can begin to prophesy from the God side that is in you, the same breath will begin to release the breath of God on somebody. This is why God told prophesy son of man and the breath of God is entering your bones. Surely I will cause the breath to enter into you. Watch this. But who is causing the breath to enter into the dry bones? God or prophet Ezekiel? Come on, talk loud. Come on, talk. So prophet Ezekiel is causing the breath of God to locate the dry bones. This is training one-on-one. This is training one-on-one. God was showing prophet Ezekiel. Now when I teach you to prophesy, you're not going to prophesy through your mind. You're not going to prophesy through your flesh. You're not going to prophesy through your knowledge. Against all odds, you're going to look at a dry bone. I've taken you on a picnic. I've taken you on a trip. I've showed you how dry they are. But now I'm telling you prophesy and you leave everything, your humanity. You leave your human side to the side and you rise up by the breath that I've given you and you prophesy and you will release the breath of God through your breath into the dry bone. So shall it be with you this morning. May your bones hear the breath of God coming. That which is impossible is becoming possible. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Kasante brasoya roto brosene mezela yondo robozia. I command every organ come back to life. I said I command every organ come back to life. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. You shall live and not die and you shall declare the works of the Lord. Kazaya mazata braseke niyonto robozia. Ezele meneyando robozia. Arancha brakasia raba. I'm seeing some dry bones receiving the breath of God this morning. Receive. When the disciples were with the Lord, the Lord said, He received the breath of God and He blew over them. Zalaka sakatara. That's what is happening as the word of God is coming to you this morning. The breath of God is locating your brain. The breath of God is locating your spine. The breath of God is locating your spirit man this morning. Zaya basaka ta 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 ta. Maronto brogozia raboni anto robozia. And as you're beginning to receive. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you. That which needs life is coming. He's building you from the inside out. Building. God is building you this morning. God is building you from your dry bone into the sinews, into life. He's putting you back together this morning in the name of Jesus. May your broken life come back to order. Mazata bragazia no bonianto robozia. Your brokenness is the story of the past. You're coming back as whole. La sata brasora katere yatera bazia. My goodness, there's a fire of God falling all across this room. Open your mouth and receive it. Zanakazia nekadini anta rabazia. Mazola yata raba. My goodness, things are happening all across this place. May the breath locate you. May the breath locate you. Karabasata takasia. 
Merente Braconi Yonto Robozia. As you're hearing the words, as you're receiving the breath, I will put sinews on you. That is God's doing. And bring flesh upon you. That is God's doing. Cover you with skin. God is covering your nakedness and put breath in you. And you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Mazato Brokoti Rabazia. Father, we thank you for this grace that is flowing in this morning. Mazalo Yarobozia. Elente Brobozia. Zile Briondo Robozia. Merende Broconianda Rabasia. Maloto Robozia Rabanianta. I am done preaching. I am done preaching. Because I can't keep preaching the whole day. Masoko Tirianta Rabasia. The atmosphere is ready for you. The atmosphere is ready for you to tap into God. Lato Robosia, Laboni Anto Robosia, Merente Brocosia, Raboni Anto Robosia, Meroto Brocosia, Raboni Anto Robosia, Meroco Niando Robo, sit, 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 Zolombro, you stand up, Mazoco Rianto Robosia, Merente Broconiante Rebocasia Raba, you guys can stand, why are you sitting down? Zelem Brozia, Roboni Ante Rebocosia, Lato Roboni Ante Brocosia, Labadi Antaraba, open your mouth and pray in the spirit right now. Karaba Sikonianto Robozia. Every spirit that is not of God, I command you to lo- vacate these people. Anything that is not of God that is found in your system, command it to vacate today. You will see the breath of God locating you like never before. Lata Baraka Sia Laboni Antaraba. What is happening this morning, it's a kind of a, of a place that God is trying to navigate us. He's not trying, he's, he's, he's giving us grace to come into that place. But the question we need to ask is, are we allowing ourselves to be carried to that place? Because if you are carried to that place, this is something that is happening right now not tomorrow not later on it is happening right now and as you keep hearing this word over and over again something is happening some breaking is supposed to happen something is supposed to be removed and something is supposed to be replaced zaya tabasia roboni anto robozia letori anto robozia come on open your mouth and pray in the spirit everybody This is what Prophet Ezekiel said in verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and suddenly a rattling and the bones came together bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Also, he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and the breath on this slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they lived and stood up, on their feet an exceedingly great army there is a journey hearing 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 God is a journey the more you hear God the more you're turning your dry bones into an army (laughs) sounds very simple When you begin to hear God, you're turning on your dry bones to become an army. It 
it is happening it is happening it is happening as you hearing god he's turning your dry bones into an army but this is what shocks me when god started addressing he never addressed the army he addressed the dry bone first so don't allow don't run away from god addressing your dry bone you're in a good place if god is addressing the dry bones that's why a place or a ministry that is true straight for some because it's addressing the dry bones but it is when god addresses your dry bones he's addressing you to become the army rokoza ya mando robozia zelembre yondo robozia kerele yondo robozia how will revival fire fall how will it fall how will it fall how will it fall no matter how dry you look you're standing and saying god i'm hearing you i'm hearing you i'm hearing you until you cause breath to come in until you put flesh on me until you make me stand as an army Lord Jesus these are your people I bring them to you this morning Dada I bring these people to you this morning I don't know what dry bones I don't know what valleys I don't know where they are stuck I don't know everything but God I am asking you to release your words you know lord 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 now you prophesy over them lord zene rada priyanto robo open your mouth and pray in the spirit people of god something is happening right now i literally feel this this atmosphere is being thickened right now Lord you said prophesy son of man to the winds for the north the south east and the west Lord I prophesy over this atmosphere let the atmosphere shift right now to become conducive to the god we are addressing amen rabo zala ya tarabazia let everything that has bound these people begin to respond to the atmosphere of god right now in the name of Jesus Zate pratikari onto robozia zili kari onto robozia rabani anta rabazia today is not the day to go back like you came today is the day of redemption today is the re rajie kazia la tolo bozia open your mouth and some some of you are about to have encounters with the lord some of you are about to be taken into visions today is that kind of a day some of you are about your eyes are about to be opened saya ba saya kata de yata robozia zine miriondo robozia robrokosia father i pray let the fire of god fall on your people today ozele brasi karia taraba push push my goodness the, the there's something that is filling up this room zaya kata kata tata 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 the wings of fire 
wings of fire wings of fire rabaga zigedi ya tarabazia kazoto brobozi ya raba zibonianto fill the room with music a little more ziti brakasi ya rabani anto robosia you're colliding with a different kind of atmosphere right now oh let go of your human side and connect to the god side in you shabrazia roto brobozia rabani onto father release your fire lord release your fire god this 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 day is such a day that if you didn't hear this word you can't receive this grace you have to hear what i'm have spoken all this while you 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 can't just ignore it you got to hear this this word you cannot you know it's not even about the intellectualism of this it is a spirit with which it was coming marabrakasia roboni antara basia lord release that fire all across this place more god